So let's take the next step with addition, kind of addition 102 if you speak, if you think uh, in, in first grade. But before we get to that, I do want to remind you that there is going to be a worksheet, a free printable worksheet that'll be linked down below if you wish to print out a worksheet to work with your kid with respect to this lesson. You can do that. That is going to be linked down below. So let's talk about this a bit. Now, what's the next thing you can do when it comes to addition? Well, we can add bigger and bigger numbers. You know, we can start to work with bigger numbers. Now that we know what addition is and we know that one plus two is equal to three, we can start to do more things. We can go, you know, 14 plus 2 is 16. We can increase this and start to apply this to bigger and bigger numbers. That's kind of what the idea is. So it doesn't matter if you're, you're going to be dealing with, you know, 15 plus 3 or 15 plus 2, whatever that is, you're going to be able to apply your concepts of, of addition to bigger numbers. So let's think about this. And just, just real quick, in case you ever hear the word sum, the answer in an addition problem is called the sum. So you're going to hear that sometimes and they may say, let's find the sum. What they're really talking about is the answer. So whenever you hear somebody or you read on a piece of paper, where it says the word sum, what they're really talking about is the answer to an addition problem. What's the answer to that problem? So we're going to now deal with bigger sums, right? Now that we know more about addition, we're going to deal with bigger sums. And we can start to do things like 13 plus 4 is 17. We knew that 3 plus 4 was 7. We're now going to know that 13 plus 4 is 17. But let's really think about what we're doing when we're adding bigger sums. Right now, I have an example here. We have 10 plus 6. And let's look at this. And I, I like basketball, so I'm going to talk a little bit about basketball. I have 10 basketballs there. So there's 10 basketballs there. And what we're going to do, we're just going to add to the number of basketballs that we have available to us. And we add 6 to the, that, that number, if you will. So what that essentially is just saying, we took a group of 6 plus a group of 10 and we were able to get 16. So there's going to be more that you're going to do with this with patterns. But before we get into patterns and applying this into really fancy ways, let's just focus on the really the mechanics of adding higher sums. We're going to do that next as next exercise.